He is known for being a British writer who made significant contributions to the field of literature. He grew up in Birmingham and was educated at Grove House School. Recognized for his works in the New Oxford School of High Churchmen, his name is Joseph Henry Shorthouse. In the annals of literary history, one name stands out, Joseph Henry Shorthouse, a British author whose impact on the world of literature is undeniable. Born in Birmingham on September 9, 1834, Shorthouse grew up in a Quaker family with a strong background in manufacturing. His father owned a chemical works and his maternal grandfather founded the first glass house in Birmingham. Shorthouse received his education at home and at Grove House School in Tottenham before becoming a chemical manufacturer. However, it was in the realm of literature where Shorthouse truly found his calling. In 1857, he married his childhood friend, Sarah Scott, and they joined the Church of England in 1861. Shorthouse's religious beliefs played a significant role in shaping his writing style and themes. He identified himself with the New Oxford School of High Churchmen, embracing the freedom and reason of the Anglican Church over the authority of Roman Catholicism. Throughout his career, Shorthouse wrote several important literary works, including his most famous novel, John Ingleson. This historical romance, published in 1881, explores themes of religious faith and personal morality in a rich and intricate narrative. Shorthouse's writing captivated readers with its deep philosophical insights and lyrical prose, establishing him as a prominent figure in the literary world. Unfortunately, Shorthouse's health began to decline in 1900, and he passed away on March 4, 1903, at his home in Edgbaston. Despite leaving no children, his literary legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of writers and readers alike. Joseph Henry Shorthouse's life and work serve as a reminder of the profound significance of literature in capturing the human experience and shaping our understanding of the world. Joseph Shorthouse, born in Birmingham in 1834, was a man of many talents. Growing up in a Quaker family with a background in chemical manufacturing, he received a unique education at home and at Grove House School. Eventually, he followed in his father's footsteps and became a chemical manufacturer himself. In 1857, Shorthouse married his childhood friend Sarah Scott, and their union marked a turning point in his life. They joined the Church of England in 1861, and his faith became an essential part of his identity. However, his journey towards spiritual enlightenment was not without challenges. In 1862, he experienced the first of many epileptic attacks, which would shape his perspective on religion and his place within it. Despite his affiliation with the New Oxford School of High Churchmen, Shorthouse found solace in the freedom and rationality of Anglicanism. He admired the Anglican Church's emphasis on personal judgment, distinguishing it from what he perceived as the authoritarianism of Roman Catholicism. As the years passed, Shorthouse's health began to decline. By 1900, his physical condition had worsened significantly, and he passed away at his home in Edgbaston in 1903. Tragically, he left behind no children to carry on his legacy. Joseph Shorthouse's life was marked by his diverse pursuits, from his involvement in the chemical industry to his spiritual exploration. His experiences and beliefs shaped his literary works, leaving a lasting impact on those who encountered his writings. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.